All right, Dr. Drone bringing you an unboxing today. So everybody's a little curious, what's in the box, right? Well, I can tell you what it's not, and it's not a drone. So let's just get that out of here. All right, so what could it be? Well, I'm sure you've seen some unboxing videos before, and one important thing to have is a knife. Uh, I'm actually gonna use a katana sword just because, hey, why not? I've had the thing and haven't actually you can see the lack of blood stains, haven't had a chance to use it. So, let's go ahead and uh, cut this sucker open. And the logo right there might have gave it away. It's a 3D printer from PrinterBot. I ordered a uh, PrinterBot Metal Simple, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through this. If you've ever uh, seen any unboxing videos for a printer bot before, you know UPS likes to kick the shit out of them. Um, actually, they're pretty nice to me this time, so everything looks pretty good. First thing you're going to want to do, though, when you unbox your 3D printer, if you get it in a kit form, is make sure that all the parts are there before you start assembling. If uh, anything's missing, go ahead and just stop contactprinterbot.com, and they will go ahead and uh, get you handled along those routes. So uh, let's go see if they gave me everything. It's like we got a uh, packing list uh, with all the, uh, let's see if that'll come up there. That's basically all the uh, individual parts, hardware, and then wires. Pretty much a list of everything you're gonna need to assemble this bad boy. So, let's see here. In the box, we got a motherboard. There's your motherboard for your printer. You got your stepper motors. And then you've got all your uh, rods for your X, Y, and Z axis. See, nothing else hiding in here, I don't think. Nope, that's it. All right, let's get that out of the way. Next, we're going to have, let's see, looks like a bunch of other junk. So we got a, oh boy, bag with the zip ties. That looks like a power supply. And you've got your uh, billet aluminum. Uh, blocks that basically support the, uh, I believe it's the Y and the Z axis together. Some Delrin blocks, looks like a power cable. Right, that's about it for that. Right here, we got your UBIS hot in, USB connector to plug into your computer. We got some gears that go into stepper motors. Looks like some wiring harnesses, your uh, bed sensor probe. Uh, oh boy, a bunch of uh, hardware. Some wire ties. All right, I even see a couple little funky wooden wrenches in there, and from what I've heard, they uh, don't actually work too well. So, oh yeah, whip out the sword for this one. Ah, didn't bleed. Shame. All right, so let's see what this is. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. Wow, that's little. I believe that's the main body. Okay. I actually ordered a, um, I ordered the newest version off of printerbot.com directly because it actually came with a spool rack and an aluminum carrying handle. Um, if you're buying one off of eBay or something like that, yeah, you're probably gonna get an older version and it's not gonna have these features and it'll cost you like 50 bucks to go on like printerbot.com and get them like this. I mean, you can get an older one and just 3D print your own carry handle and your own spool rack, but eh, you know, I like the sex appeal of a build aluminum. Yeah, 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 that's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so, let's see. This looks like the, uh, the Y-axis arm that basically houses your Ubis hot end, your cooling fan, all right. Then we got a print bed. Let's see here. Uh, stick that pig. All right. This is the print bed. Beautiful powder coating on that. No scratches, no blemishes. Really quality job there. And you can see this is, um, I want to say it's like 3 16 aluminum. So, um, I mean, I'm sitting there bending this thing and uh, yeah, there's no flex in that. So, excellent. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, okay, that's your... Uh, that's your uh, uh, bearing retainer for your uh, print bed. Nothing too special, just a little, just a little bracket. And then of course, Parent or Bot is pretty cool and they actually send you 
a little roll there filament it's even got some uh silica in there to keep the moisture from contaminating your filament uh, it's coming up a little bit different on camera i know it looks more like a slime green it's a little bit darker in person i think my lighting just isn't quite doing it justice but um there you go i'm not sure how much that is but it's definitely enough to get you started so let me kind of throw this out of the way you got your body print bed you got some filament carry handle your spool rack and then a bunch of bits and pieces um now i haven't actually double checked my whole parts list but um it looks like everything's here so like i said before you begin assembly grab the packing list make sure everything's in there so in case you don't know what a 3d printer is uh, let me explain it to you in simple terms if you've ever wanted to make your own bong or a dildo this is pretty much where it's at. Um, you're not going to get it any cheaper. Um, this kit will print you a six by six by six object if you want to go something that big. And then you can actually expand it with another kit. Um, I'm not sure who makes it yet, but I'll put a link in there once I get around to it. Um, and you can actually expand it to go, I believe, 10 by 10 by eight. So um, it's got a lot of potential to make some pretty good sized pieces. Um, if you're not familiar with a printer bot, just look on YouTube search around you'll see the quality of the prints this thing can produce and uh, let me tell you you're not going to be disappointed uh the bang for the buck this is where it's at this kit costs less than six hundred dollars and if you look around you know there's other printers you can buy for like 1200 bucks but they're only going to print like a five by five by five or maybe not even that big so if you're looking for size and quality this is pretty much where it's at i mean granted it's no ultimaker it's no um a maker bot but um this will pretty much get you in the game, and if you're happy with what you're doing, then you might invest in something a little bit uh, more substantial. But uh, you definitely won't be disappointed going with a printer bot. So as always, if you like what you see in my video, go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up on the like button. And if you kind of like the, what I do with the drones and the printing and all that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to ask me any questions you want to know about how to print your own dildo or how to make a bong. I'll gladly answer those questions for you. So thanks a lot for watching my video, guys, and enjoy.